Hello guys, uh, I'm just uh, making this quick video to showcase a piece of software that I've been working on. Um, it's just about finished now. Um, it's been written in Falcon PHP which is a, an awesome framework um, and I've spent a few months on this. Uh, the story behind this is is that a company um, called White Rose Blinds uh, are selling a lot of blinds on eBay and they're getting CSV files that look like this but have obviously uh, a lot of a lot more orders uh, in there and uh, and before they were taking these details from the CSV and manually making um, invoices from them uh, and as they've got more and more popular uh, they obviously are are running out of time to complete all their invoices so it's uh, it's become like a full-time job making these invoices so that's the main issue that they had and this is what this software deals with so um, I'll just um, go back to here uh, they also have an Amazon products but not quite as many but this will accept an, an Amazon text file which is in CSV so format so if I just upload this example file that I've been showing you um, you see that we've got our one order in there and these are all fake details um, let me save this to the database okay and it comes through there and it's tagged PayPal um, filtering is on there so they can find things quickly uh, and that's on all kind of uh, stages of a, an order so I can select different types of order or their origin and click check all and then select something else and then click check all and when we come back to all um, it would have selected both sets of criteria uh, but I've only got one so I'm just gonna show you that so they come in through pending and um, there's an ability to change um, some parts of it here so let's add three pound on the postage and I'll show you what happens in that case so the they've the totals now more than they've actually paid originally which does happen at times okay so in our active queue um we can see that they've uh, got an unpaid invoice in here if they pay on paypal it will automatically come in and they can just attach it to the order it will find it using the email um but seeing as i haven't got the luxury of showing you that i will show you a, a manual payment uh, that we just take on the terminal and uh, that three pound there was to uh, was matching the amount owed and these payments can be individually managed and then in the ledger um, an accountant can get a whole month's worth of activity uh, from from this record so if I go back to this list uh, the other thing um, we can do is is batch send things to production or uh, send them to dispatch which are different parts of the process I uh, won't go into that but um, this creates an invoice and it makes a PDF and obviously they could select more than one and then they, they get a rather large document and this code here um, uses a, a barcode reader to actually um, track within the factory what's going on um, so you can see that uh, that this would be a lot quicker to 
a lot quicker to um, to get a whole batch of invoices rather than just entering them in one at a time. So that's that main problem solved, and it's and it's got some other useful features as well. Um, it's already live, um, and there's a, a range of features we could add things to this. If I just add some um, a component, if it's got a price, then um, it's a fixed price. If we added a bespoke item, we could enter uh, some details here. And I'll just enter any. Okay. And this get price button will use these width and drop measurements and through a quite a complicated pricing system um, it will return the price for that size of the blind so it's £19.99 and then we can add that to there and then um, uh, it updates the, the order and I could then say well we've got £19.99 owed and I'll just add that payment in Okay, so there is uh, another user group called Dispatcher who only have access to this list here. Um, so I could send this to um, to Dispatch. And then any, anything that needs um, dealing with by the Dispatch team uh, can see what what's coming through from either the production line or just from um, just if it's things that don't need to be produced as things that are prefabbed and uh, they can open these things up they can still create more invoices and then um, with all of these they can send them as complete and they end up in the order ar archive so that's Orion um, uh, it's working quite well and um, I'm quite pleased with it and I'm very pleased with Falcon PHP, which I will be doing a course on um, Udemy.com quite soon. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that didn't bore you too much. Um, I'll see you soon. Oh no, hang on. They can also create an order as well. So um, if we look up for... We could look up for that account. So if we search for Deb Debra... then we could create another order and it fills in the details and we get to this stage again and then we pick what kind of um, uh, payment it was so I'll just add a, a 3.99 thing there and just say it was cash okay and then that that's now an order in the active queue so now I'll leave you alone thanks for watching um, Highly recommend Falcon uh, and I will see you soon. Bye.